Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, uh, advice to uh, Noahides, the Bnei Noach, Bali Tshuva, the returnees to Judaism, and Gerim, converts to Judaism. And a subject that comes up uh, with missionaries and uh, similar people, skeptics who uh, approach us, uh, with the subject of prophecy, is how do you know so and so is a prophet? You know, do you know? So, uh, with Christian missionaries, for example, they're always quoting you know Isaiah and Jeremiah and Hosea and Malachi and all these things. And I say to them, how do you know Jeremiah is a prophet? How do you know Isaiah is a prophet? Because the Jewish people have recognized Isaiah and Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Zechariah, all of these people as prophets. How? Is it a popularity contest? Like who does the best magic tricks? No. There's actually a test. The book of Deuteronomy in chapter 12 sets out a test. It said if a person who comes, comes to you and he's a, a prophet, a dreamer of dreams, and he does miracles, gets your attention, and these miracles come true. I mean, they're, they're, not, uh, they're not sleight of hand. They're not card tricks. They're not illusions. These are actual, literal miracles. These prophets, and they, they do miracles. They get your attention. And then what? Then they start telling you things that aren't in the Torah, things that your fathers and forefathers did not know. What does the Torah say? Do not listen to them. We're supposed to ignore them. Actually, it goes on. It says we're supposed to kill them. Um, the Jewish people's history has sadly been marred by uh, false prophets, uh, false messiahs. Um, we are warned not to go after our eyes, not, not to go after our hearts, uh, because they will lead us astray. And this goes toward two of the ways that some of these false prophets try to appeal uh, to us. Uh, two ways that may cause uh, someone to turn away from the Torah. One is uh, misguided philosophies, uh, sophistry, uh, faulty logic, faulty uh, uh, arguments. Um, they confuse us. They puzzle us. And, especially if they're giving ideas that are not consistent with the Torah, they can lead us astray. God forbid. Um, another tack is to appeal to our, um, not to our mind, but rather to our senses, to offer uh, joy, pleasure, sensuality, uh, material things that uh, may sound attractive, but they're contrary to, uh, uh, to the will of God. Uh, so let's be on the lookout for uh, these two uh, tactics. Faulty reasoning, clouding our mind, um, clouding our hearts, clouding our eyes, and the, um, the lure of... Um, sensual, phys uh, physical uh, uh, pleasure. Um, when these false prophets have come, as a whole, the Jewish people have said, no. Whoever they were, no. Did some follow them? Yes, of course. That's how we know about them. If nobody listened to them, they would never be recorded in history. But the Jewish people, as a whole, rejected Shabbatai Tzvi, the Jewish people as a whole re rejected uh, David uh, Rueni, Bar Kochba, Jesus, all of these other false prophets, false messiahs. The Jewish people as a whole had this test. Does he do miracles? Great, Mazel tov, wonderful. You got my attention. But miracles don't prove anything. Why? Because all religions have miracles. Listen to what he says. If he's telling us things that are contrary to the Torah, things that we have not known through our history, 
things that contradict the Torah, say no. Don't listen, don't talk, don't, don't get into any discussions or debate because that gives them a platform and um, it gives some veracity to their, uh, to their corrupted uh, uh, and misleading statements. There's nothing wrong with saying thank you, but no thank you, and walking away. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.